What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new episode of whatever this is, preseason stuff. Uh, we're actually playing AD Carry again today. I always test out a bunch of new builds and stuff. Um, this is the last one I am pre-recording for the next couple of days, and then after that we'll be back to um so like for example, like I've asked you a lot of questions in the chance uh, in the comments and stuff, and if you uh have answered them and like I haven't immediately input like the the changes, it's because I'm just pre-recording this and then after this one it'll be different. But yeah, anyway, so I hope you hopefully you're like enjoying these, even if I'm impaired with very random teams and stuff. Uh we are playing solutions today because I think the new fervor is actually better on him than it than it used to be. So I should probably talk that about when, when everyone's here, right? But um, I guess I'll just have a little rant because I don't know what the matchmaking is like and it's very strange for me like to get matched with like lower rank players Let me just get into actually what well, we'll just do matchups and stuff. This is what basically this is for right? So Lee Sin versus Amumu. Lee Sin early, Amumu or later obviously. Amumu is actually like on the wrong mastery He should have gone the CC one I think it's actually so sick the one that Lee Sin has. Uh, Siva and Blitzcrank versus Lucian, and uh, I didn't see who my support was actually, so we'll skip that one until a second. Alistair, actually, I think we have a good lane here. I think we have a really good lane here. Lissandra versus, I assume that's going to be a uh, Nar matchup, which is okay. I don't know why Lissandra has Death by Touch. I think that's more for Poke, so probably a mistake. I feel like that probably should be a Thunderlords. Um, but never mind. I think that's kind of an even matchup. Nah, should be able to poke quite heavily, but the all-in from Lissandra works early. It doesn't work when Nah gets tanky, though. If Nah's smart, he'll just rush, like, the, uh, the, the Spectre's Cow, I think it's called. Like, you know, the blue, the blue component part of Spirit Visage. He'll rush that, then go into damage, and there's nothing Lissandra can do. Talon Diana. Diana's actually a very good counter to Assassin's, so I'm not looking forward to that one. Uh, but we'll have to see. But this, like, I think this lane is actually pretty good. The new Alice is really strong. If he gets hooked by Blitzcrank, that's actually kind of a good thing for us. Uh, Siva can only block one form of crowd control, right? And then I kind of go nuts as well. I, like, in, in normal ways, like normal lanes before this preseason, I feel like Lucian was a good kind of counter, semi-counter, like a good lane versus Siva. So I don't feel like anything has changed. If anything, is actually better for us now. So we should be really doing a bit... Uh, yeah, we should really be doing a bit better at this, but I guess... You never know, I'm probably going to feed now. But anyway, welcome everybody else. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. We're playing another preseason. That was very polite. I'm not going to be that polite, but thanks for thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And we're going to play some Lucian today. We are playing um, Fervor Lucian, which the new Fervor, if you didn't know, is different now. It gives you AD rather than giving you... Uh, uh, on hit damage. That's the one I was looking for. And so we can stack this up quite fast with our passive shots and our abilities and everything. But obviously it's actually kind of perfect for Lucian because our, a lot of our damage comes from abilities and also comes from um, like our, our passive autos. So the passive autos are increased damage wise with the with the extra AD. Plus our abilities are increased with the AD. We can stack up quite quickly. So I think actually the new Ferv is uh, probably a buff to like Lucian. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. But it feels like on paper it should be a buff. And that's a weird thing really because Fervent has been nerfed for a lot of different champions, I think anyway. But uh, apart from that, what was the other thing I wanted to say? Oh yeah, so the other thing I wanted to say was we have some really weird teams in the preseason so far. We've been matched with silver and gold players. So if you've watched the past two episodes and you thought to yourself, wow, Fire, you really suck. Or like, you know, your team really sucks, I guess is a better way of saying it. Or like they're not making plays and like, I'm going in and I'm having to say, yo, let's engage, let's engage, let's go, let's go, let's go, like all the time and stuff is because these players aren't, you, and they're not like at the elo that I'm used to playing with. Um, so it's kind of weird for me, but I'm going to play this game as a very solo carry style. I'm not going to rely on my team very much. I'm going to try and adapt and see if we can do that better, I suppose is the way of putting it. But it is a bit weird. It is a bit frustrating. I think it's because of the flex cues and the stuff. The MMR is all different and it's all a bit wacky and everything like that. Fair enough, like, you know, it's just a rank flex queue, it's a new season, it doesn't really matter, it's pre-season anyway. But hopefully we get some actually decent teams, and we just, or at least now I know, I feel like I can adapt and play a bit better for that. Because obviously, really, if I'm expecting my team to follow up on a play, oh damn, so much for Diana countering. Because if I'm expecting my team to follow up on a play and they don't, because they're not, like, on the same page as me, because they're just not used to playing at the level, like, the, we're not used to playing on the same levels and stuff. That's fine. I think we can adjust to that. I think we can adjust that. Now I know it gets much, much easier as well. They just like trolling each other. I feel like he's just going to randomly hook me, uh, even though he's looking at Alistair. So I'm actually still playing pretty safe here. Those two are having fun. 
but oh, that's not good thing. I just actually missed some minions, I guess, because he's still not even level two yet. And now he's on level two. I'm just gonna. I'm waiting for him to get level two. Like I, what in the world? How is he not level two yet? Okay, now he's level two. All right, now we're good. Yo, does he know how that thing works? Basically, the new Alistair has this E thing, right? Where he puts that on, if that hits a champion five times, then like over the duration, then his next auto attack is going to stun. Um, what you'd really do is you use your combo and you activate your E as you're flying in with your W. And that means that you're going to have your E on. They're crowd controlled. They can't really dodge your E because they're like knocked up by your key, right? And then you just chain the three sets of crowd control together. This is really, really good. But like, yeah, I don't really know about that. All right, okay. I was going for this, I guess. Yo, even if we're going for the Blitzcrank, which I 100% don't mind. Actually, that's actually a good hook for me because I'm going to kill him now, I think. Or at least cost him his heal. Yeah. I thought that. I was like, when he hooked me, I was like, did you really just want to hook me though? Which is a bit strange, but still good for me, I guess. So we are on like my main champion for stomping lane with. By far, I think, apart from maybe Jin, but Lucian I can do so much on my own, you know? I don't really need anybody else. Do you want to do an Infernal this early into the game? Really? Holy, are you kidding me? They're actually going to do it this early into the game. They must be pre-made or something, but like, oh my word, that's really risky. Imagine if any of them come by now. Like, we are so dead, like 100% absolutely dead. I mean, it is Infernal, right? And like, I think Infernal's worth it, but what is that? Yo, maybe I need to adopt this strategy from whatever elo I'm playing in and use it in my games, because that's pretty good. That's pretty good, apparently. Do that in a high elo game and you're so dead, though. That's for sure. Yo, that's a bad idea. It's going to hook you into town now. Yep. It's funny how I've seen so many of these things happen. Like, I've played so many Blitzcrank Alistair lanes and everything that I know exactly how this, this trade's going to pan out before, like, just as it starts. Why did he stop? I was letting him base. I'm gonna... Oh, fudges. Yo, he's still... Is he not realize he's actually out of, like... I think I can do this. I don't have mana. Holy... Alright, oh, I still got it. I thought I might be able to do that. So I just thought, well, you know what? I've been sucking so much balls... Should I just leave the comment like that? Should I just leave the sentence like that? I've been sucking so much recently that I feel like I just had to whip out the Lucian and actually make a statement and be like, you know what? I'm not bad. I can still play this game. Oh, hopefully. <laughs> oh, man. This is what I mean, though. You see how much, like, my fervor does? Like, I was stacking up there and all my abilities were hitting for more, which is really good. So, actually, I feel like fervor Lucian is actually pretty legit. Like, I think this actually makes him come back quite a lot. Build wise, by the way, I actually still haven't. Oh fuck, I missed the cannon! I did everything so well in this lane phase and I missed the cannon. Like, that's just basically typical, isn't it? Let's be honest, that's just basically typical. Blitzcrank is gonna run at me here, so I'm actually gonna run the entire way back to the tower. Even past the tower. So we could go for Arm Pen, but I don't feel like Arm Pen's actually that good anymore, if I'm completely honest. Like, I don't think Ghost Blade is really that great on Lucian anymore, because it doesn't give you attack speed anymore. I think that I'm going to go for this, but like I I'm thinking maybe of just going for like an essence reaver here and going crit. I'm also thinking like, I don't know, I could go, maybe I could go for the dust blade because that would actually do a lot of damage. But I'm thinking honestly, just like crit would be a good thing here to have. So I'm going to go for this because honestly, this can go into either. This can either go into the dirk part of the dust blade or this can go into essence reaver. The problem that we're going to have with lethality at the moment is that it doesn't scale as well into the early game, which is kind of where we want to use Lucian Strength anyway. But it's also the problem of like, Ghost Blade doesn't, like there's three choices, right? This is a defensive item, so it's these two really. Dust Blade I can't really use properly because I've got no stealth mechanic and I can't really like duck into a bush and then dive out as easily. It's, it's not really that good. Um, I can't really use Ghost Blade as much because I already am very highly mobile. I don't exactly need. I don't need more mobility, you know. I don't need more move speed here at all. Alistair was not paying attention here. Yeah, he definitely likes to do that, but... 
Oh, nice. I'm gonna go for this kill here. Oh, okay. I dashed the wrong way because I thought. I, yeah, okay, my bad. I thought he was gonna try and run away, but he actually just went for the kill there. That's a shame because I would like those double buffs. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, so, like, actually, when you think about arm pen and stuff, like, Dust Bay could be okay. Um, Dust Bay could be okay. It would actually be a decent amount of damage. Um, I'm just thinking, like, if I'm completely honest, I don't feel like that really... I would actually wait to add a combo there. I kind of hope this crank cooks him a little bit. I don't really feel like it's actually offering too much. The crit might be a little bit better at the moment. Essence Reeve obviously is still loads of cooldown reduction. It still gives me basically everything I want. It just doesn't give me an arm pen right now. So, yeah. I'm not really too sure. I'm not entirely sure what I want to go for. I kind of like, on the PB and stuff, I tried out uh, Lethality Lucian, right? And it was good, but the obvious flaws with having no attack speed really made my like combo quite weak. Because I, did, I wasn't able to like... I don't know. I wasn't really able to use my auto attacks after. Sorry, my combo was strong, but like my autos after were just really weak. And that's normally what Ghost Spade kind of fixed a bit, but nah, it doesn't really fix anymore. Yeah, this is just ridiculous, dude. Either the games are stomping my way or stomping their way. Hopefully, you guys still find this, like, I don't know, you still find all of this useful and like fun to watch and stuff. Like, it's still entertaining, even though it's a bit of a stomp. Hopefully, at least. I don't know. It feels bad because like now we're just basically having a casual chat while oh okay actually my team. we're just having a casual chat while I play because all I'm doing is pushing the tower right now oh okay someone's probably here because he just charged down like that but I don't know well I actually would have liked him to bump him out there have everything stacked up kinda five stacks it's gonna wear out in a second that's the problem with the new fervor though it doesn't last very long at all it really is not cool for that. Oh, there's a Lucian. I thought that might be here. I, I don't know. I just had a little sneaky suspicion. Had a suspicion that Lucian might be here. I'm just stacking my fur up here, by the way. That's why I'm actually autoing. I don't mind because I'm just stacking further here. Like, the longer that fight goes on for, the better I do with it. So, I'm actually okay just trying to be training autos like that. But I need a... Uh, how much do I need for... Essence Reaver. That's just 300 gold. So, yeah. I don't know. I still think the Dust Bay could actually be really, really good. And maybe in this game where it's going very quick, I could actually use it and I could get it properly because even just if I used one lot of true damage, right? 80 true damage, I think it is on the base level if you have no other lethality. That's really good. Yo, what are you doing, you crazy man? Holy... You're absolutely nuts, man. He's not even dead either, but Siva's got this, I think. She's going to flash forward here and get it, or just also... Wow, she didn't even get it. Oh, my word. She must be so tilted right now. I'd be so tilted right now. That was the dumbest play ever from Alistair, but it ended up working, and we got two kills out of it. So, good job, Alistair. That was, like, literally horrendously played because it had, like, no thought behind it. Like, she's going to spell shield the Q or the W, right? And he has like no mana either, but he still went for it anyway. He still went for it anyway. You know what? Fuck it. We're just gonna do Dust Blade. Like I think honestly, this is pretty decent. But um, I think going this into Black Cleaver would actually be really good. Uh, so I still think Black Cleaver is a really, really, really good item on Lucian, and I still would like to find a way to work this into his build. Because it just makes his early game so much better. The other thing, though, like, genuinely, we could try and get, like, maybe a BF sword into Black Cleaver so that it shreds armor and we have some AD behind it, but we're also then going into crit afterwards. So we actually turn that BF sword into an Essence Reaver. Like, I actually think that might be able to work as well, but normally, like, delaying an item purchase is not the most ideal thing, and Black Cleaver is better later into the game a little bit because it's obviously dealing percentage armor reduction. Which is kind of... Okay, let's try it. Holy that damage. Okay, maybe I was wrong about this. Oh my sweet... Yeah, I have no life still with this, by the way. So I'm actually a little bit worried here. Oh, he's gonna go. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! Nice. 
Well played. Well played. That was a lot of damage, actually. I didn't even use the Dust Blade mark there. So, the, actually, Lethality is working pretty decently. It actually works pretty pretty well, actually. Better than I thought it was going to work. So, maybe, actually, Dust Blade into Black Cleaver is going to be the legit build on Lucian for now. If you wanted to go crit, I still think that's probably very good. But if you want to go Black Cleaver build, Arm Pen build, Early Damage build, and you're snowballing, I think Dust Blade into Black Cleaver is really good. Like, that just absolutely ripped her apart. I didn't even try. Like, look at these autos. I'm not even doing very much right now. Oh, fuck. No, thank you. That was... I don't know if I actually need to flash that or if that was out of range, but I felt like that was... Felt like I was dead there. Yeah, I was dead there, right? That was unfortunate. Um, oh, the Amumi flash. Oh, no! No, no! Alistair, no! No, no, that's not how this goes. Oh, Alistair, no. No, no. Oh, boy. All right, good job. He used his Q there for the crit rather than the gap close. I like that. like that, Talon. I like that. Okay, we just mocked the entire fight. Holy. Ho, 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 ho. That was a lot of damage, though. Damn, man. He is really getting tilted, though. Oh boy. Okay. Well, you know that was something different. That's that's uh, that's a really like. Sorry, I kind of screwed there, but like that's really not. Um, <laughs> that's not how this is supposed to go, you know. Oh my God, Lissandra actually salty. Oh damn, dude! Here comes the team fight, like literal team fight. Uh, I don't know if they're like trolling or if they're like legit, but I actually find that really funny. I don't know if um, he actually got no Q yet, so he can't read. Oh, oh, that was a dust blade mark, by the way, and just a Q. That was a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. Just for like one ability, taking off like 30% of a health. Imagine if I had ult. That's gonna be the ultimate combo here. Oh, we got a stun there. I thought they were gonna go on me, so I used my thingy backwards there, but maybe not. I don't know. Just going back a little bit first. See how much my fervor is tight now, by the way. Like, I have fully stacked fervor here. 10 stacks. Look at my auto damage. I have 300 AD right now. And it's going to go back down. I was getting 40-something AD off of that fervor, apparently. Holy crap. That's like, uh... Yeah, that's close to how much a dust bait gives me. That is insane on Lucian. I think Lucian's back, you know. I actually, I'm so happy because I genuinely feel like Lucian is back. I genuinely think Lucian is actually back now. Like, with these further changes, I can't see a reason why he wouldn't come back. Bill path is a little awkward, I would admit. Dust is not ideal. But the fact that I can do that much just makes it kind of ridiculous. You know what? I actually want to try it. <laughs> Holy fuck. <gasps> I don't even have like anything right now. Okay. Well, I think it's safe to say the Dustblade Lucian is actually legit. Uh, I think Dustblade Lucian is actually pretty legit. I think it's fair to say now. Like, that's pretty nuts. That is pretty nuts. Uh, uh, I mean, I know she has no armor, right? She has no armor. She is a little bit, like, she's obviously two levels below me. So let's not too, get too excited. Like, it was it was pretty ridiculous, but it's like she's very underfed and I'm very fed. But still, that's pretty stupid. I don't even understand. It's always fun, though, when, like, on my main champions where I find something that's really cool. Because, I don't know. It's just a great feeling. Like, I found something else, like, like another way of playing it, you know? See if it has double buffs. Let's take that. Oh, I, I, this is the other thing with Dustblade is it procs the 
vision so you can get rid of uh, wards. But obviously the control ward there, which I don't know why they call it control ward, that's so weird. But the control ward, uh... oh okay. That actually like props it even though, I don't know. Look at my ultimate now. I just killed two people with that ult. Oh, you stole my quadra, man. That's rude. That's just rude. So, yeah, I have two items right now, by the way. I know, like, everybody's underfed, so I don't think this is exactly a good example of how good this build actually is, but I do feel like this build is actually really strong. It seems like a very good snowball build, at least. And the new fervor, I think, is actually one of the biggest things here. It's not really just my... It isn't really just my ultimate. One thing I actually have to test before this game is over, hopefully they don't surrender, I actually have enough time if I just go and find someone, but if my ultimate we're gonna stack further with the um, I think the ultimate like I think ability is stacking further has a cooldown on it, but if it doesn't being able to stack further like that would be so good Oh damn one more turn I would have killed her there Unfortunate goodnight. Oh wow. No, I thought he was dead, but he wasn't huh. I missed um, I want to see like I I would have thought I would have assumed that my Yeah, I really would have assumed it doesn't work that way and my ultimate does not stack further up But if it even just refreshes it having the auto stacking further then getting a bit more like damage on my ultimate and then having it Well, that was a good play like leave. I think he's too. I think Tan is too fed and he's there um, I, I don't think it would have it would do it, right? I, even if it just refreshes though, that would be so good. Like, I auto first, then I use my ult for more damage on my ult because I got more AD, and it keeps it for when my auto's up afterwards, when my whole spell rotation up again. That would be so, so good if it actually plays like that. But they're going to surrender in five seconds, I think, so I need to, like, go and... Like, they're getting absolutely crapped on, so I don't know why they wouldn't surrender this game. But I really hope they don't, because I need to just test this. I don't really, like, you know, it's really awkward going into a custom game and testing and stuff like this, so... Let's just go in. What I need to do is auto like this, and then I need to ult. And watch my further sex. Yeah, it doesn't do it. I, that's a real shame. I didn't think it, it would because that would be pretty broken. But I actually wasn't even trying to kill him. I didn't even realize my ult was going to maybe kill that guy. Oh, what is that is doing now? Well, that was a crit though. No! Why? Push him back away, you turd. Lucky I got that anyway, but... He just pushed the guy I was killing right back into his own tower. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you do that as well, you crazy person? Holy... Oh, bollocks. I just dived into a sewer. Dove into a sewer. Never mind. The only problem with this uh, is I actually don't have any lifesteal with this build. Like, lifesteal would be really, really good right now. So, yeah. Lifesteal would be really good. But I just don't know what I would replace for lifesteal at this point. I could sell my pickaxe, I guess, but that's kind of pointless, right? Maybe I'll just get an Elixir of Wrath here and, um... Yeah, maybe I just get an Elixir of Wrath and we just end the game with the next fight. Because if I have Lifesteal, like, imagine all of this AD being converted to Lifesteal. That's another thing as well. Fervor's actually going to increase my Lifesteal the entire time, right? So that's pretty nuts. That is actually pretty nuts. Okay, let's run down mid, boys. Um, so, yeah. I want to get my Infinity Edge at some point. The other problem with this is like Ghost Bay gave a lot of cooldown reduction and this doesn't give any cooldown reduction. I didn't see that, but I assume you just one shot her. Uh, so I'm actually down cooldown as I would normally, which probably means actually in hindsight we're probably going to get Lucidity Boots again now on, Nanus on uh, Lucian. Before I wouldn't have, wouldn't have got them as much. I don't think, like I thought Berserkers were just better because 30% was enough. But like right now I'm only on 20 so... I think having the extra 10 from Ghost Wave was really good. 
I'll probably try Ghost Bait out first, but I don't know. I think it's less lethality anyway. I think it's less lethality anyway, and uh, it's just not as good anymore, I don't feel like. Yeah, I'm actually ruining this Lee Sin though. I wonder if I can kill them under tower. Yes, I can. Holy moly. Now, so you, when you know you're fed, when you can kill someone under the thingy. Hooker! Hooker! Kill her! Blitch, you pussy! Yo, that's what you get for BMing, man. That's what you get for the BM. Let's come out in the game now. GG. Well, I take solace in the fact that I stomped them hard. Well, this game stomped harder in my favor than I got stomped in the previous game. So, that's at least something good, right? But that was a bit of a crap fest, honestly. That's a bit, you know. Yo, I didn't even get an S. Oh, I did get an S. Got an S. I actually got an S. That's kind of impressive, actually. It doesn't say in the chat, though, for some reason, which is really weird. Let's have a look at the damage graph, though. <laughs> Holy moly. Yeah, okay. Uh, this build is really built for, like, early pressure, though. So the fact that I can, like, pop off like that is not too surprising, I don't think. But anyway, I hope you guys... Yeah, it looks it like, like I'm actually doing my placements for this rank queue. I don't know. It seems really weird. I have no idea. Who knows? But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully we'll get back to some more even games soon. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next video.